Hello and welcome back to Girl Ball. Welcome to Quidditch. I'm your commentator, Lee Jordan. It's Gryffindor versus Slytherin. So we are back here in Harry Potter World, and we are Quidditch playing the first Quidditch game. This is the it fifth time I've tried to make this video because I am incapable of catching the fucking golden snitch. That's right. I'm not afraid to admit. I delete footage where I can't even fucking do something a child can do. Gryffindor's new team seeker is Harry Potter. It's his job to find and catch the golden snitch. If you can. No favoritism. Sorry, Miss. Remember, first avoid the bludgeons, then find and catch the snitch. I don't know why they're explaining Quidditch to us because I know for a fact that I know that I can't catch this fucking thing. The rest of it is all irrelevant because I don't play those positions. I'm playing as Harry, which means I'm fucked. Let's play Quidditch! Yes, let's. I don't know what it is. I'll tell you what it isn't. It's easy. Look at this shit. So since this is a modded version of the game, I have this amazing thing going on where the directions from the manual don't apply because someone else has changed them. So now I can't even use the mouse in this section. It's all keyboard. So when I looked up if I was fucking doing something wrong, lo and behold, it's not the same control scheme. And yes, we are hitting in the walls. The best kind of punishment for me as a grown man is not being able to do this shit and hitting invisible walls at the same time. This game is purgatory for me. Yes. Oh, please give up, Harry, please. Oh, yeah, we're so fucking good at this. Like, I don't know, was I close to it or was I fucking far away? I don't even know. My eyes are starting to play tricks on me. I keep hitting the spaghetti-o holes. All my life has been about giving up, so of course I'm going to do that. Girl boss keeps hitting invisible walls. The glass ceiling keeps getting higher. Yeah, Potter, come on! What would your dead parents say if they saw you now? Your father was a fucking amazing Quidditch player, and his son is a fucking failure that can't catch a single goddamn ball. If I go higher into the air, I seem cooler. Alright, so, keep in mind, boys, the Z key is how you stop. What the fuck?! Just let go, Harry, fuck it, die. Listen to those noises. Let's play Quidditch! Is that the snitch? Like this is fucking embarrassing. What the fuck? Yeah, it's a near fucking miss. Everything is a near miss. Like a near miss is like getting pissed on the toilet seat. That was a complete fuck up. I was trying to go through one of the hoops, make it look really cool. Like, if I'm gonna fuck up royally, I should at least look cool while I'm doing it, right? Has anyone ever thought about the fact that Harry could literally be hit with one of these balls and fucking just die? Not just Harry, but any of the students. All the nameless NPCs that just stand in the hallways. Oh, flip. It's a shame Harry's not one of the goblin people. He would have grabbed that fucking snitch just instinctively. And there's the fucking seeker from Slytherin doing it again. Harry, get the fucking snitch! You're so fucking close. Like, I'm going as fast as the game will let me go. I don't know if I'm just retarded or... I mean, I know I'm retarded, but just get the fucking snitch, Harry! Come on! Yeah, I'm trying. It would be nice if my team had some kind of, like, communication going on. I feel so alone, flying on this broomstick, slamming into people over and over again. He says near miss all the time, and I just hear Harry being hit repeatedly by invisible things. 
I swear I just fucking hit somebody. Taking out my stress on the other players. I fuck I fucking don't even know. He's just dead again. Shot up. If it takes a year, I'm gonna fucking do this. I am determined to catch this fucking thing. Wow, okay. I had that one coming. Wonder if Harry lost any teeth. You would think that Lee would have more lines than that. They should have known some idiot in his 30s would be playing this fucking game and unable to catch the goddamn snitch. Fuck! Alright, pot noodle. We can do this. Oh my god, we're so close! Oh my god! This is amazing! Close! Come on, Potter! Don't give up now! Just give me the fucking thing already. I don't need to earn anything. I'm Harry fucking Potter. I'm the chosen one. Is it like impossible for me to win this game? Like, I don't. No. I'm just retarded. <laughs> you have been very fucking fortunate. Some point, I've got to win, right? I think I triggered a new fucking thing for Lee Jordan to say. It's amazing what you can do with a love perseverance and being bad at a game. Harry Potter closes in on the snake. Come on, I think Potter. I got this. Now. I believe in myself. I believe in the dream. I know I can do this. I just Potter's need the, the chance. Snake. I need it. Oh, Harry. Harry Potter closes in on the snake. No, that's the wrong ball, Harry. Okay. Okay. He's after the snitch, boys. Fuck. I've never seen such flying. Harry Potter closes in on the snitch. Potter is so close. No! Potter's moving in. Look at those super Yes! 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 Two hours later, I finally fucking did it! Jesus Christ, this is the hardest I've ever worked in my life! Oh my god, I'm gonna have a fucking stroke. I think I actually did have a fucking stroke during that. Yeah, fuck you. Fuck you, game. Holy shit. Oh my god, that was stressful. Only here at Girl Balls, where a grown man can't beat a children's game. The youngest seeker in the history of Hogwarts had won the Quidditch match. The Gryffindors spilled onto the field and joyfully lifted Harry onto their shoulders. Harry couldn't remember ever feeling happier. Well, that's a shame because nobody's on they the field. To themselves, the victorious Gryffindors hoisted Harry onto their shoulders and carried him off the field. They better fucking celebrate it now because this is never, and I mean never, happening again. Harry. I've been waiting for ages. Yeah, uh, me Congratulations too. Congratulations again for winning the Quidditch match against Slytherin. You are fantastic. Did you watch Everyone's the game? Everyone's talking about you becoming a seeker, Harry. Why, you're the youngest seeker at Hogwarts in a century. Something is troubling me, Harry. Okay. On the third floor, I heard a monstrous, terrifying sound behind one of the doors. Ron and I heard strange noises outside. What are you doing with Ron? Corridor. Come up to the third floor and have a look. Nah, I'm good. 